What's up guys? Today's video is pulled right from the comments section. This comment popped up under my review of the FCPX full access ultimate pack. And in that video, if you didn't see it, I mentioned that there were some plugins I really liked. Some of them I didn't really care for or see use for in my world. And I was going to plan on deleting them later down the road. And someone was like, well, yeah, how do you do that? And that is an excellent question. If you have questions for me, drop them in the comments. I do read them all, but the trick is to be specific because sometimes people ask me very broad questions or they wanna see how to do something, but I'm not really clear on what you're asking me. So be specific because I love love hearing from you guys. Now, when it comes to deleting plugins, there's a few different ways to go about it, depending on how the plugin was installed in your system. Some of them are really easy to find, like the FCPX full access ones. I'm going to show you how to find those. They're super simple. And then some of them are buried so deep in your system. And typically that's true when the plugin company actually has its own installation software that installs it on your computer instead of you manually doing it and those are buried and I'm going to show you where to look for those ones as well. Let's first start with those really simple ones. What we're going to do is open up our finder. We're going to select Macintosh HD. Then let's head on over to users, select your username, head on over to movies and look for this folder here called motion templates. And we're going to double click that. Now you can see here, we've got folders for compositions, effects, generators, titles, and transitions. And so this is where you can delete all of the individual plugins that you want to remove. So let's just drop down on effects and let's select this disclosure face effect. Um, you can do more than one. We could also get rid of this documentary folders effect here as well and this inception effect I wasn't crazy about, and selective glitch, fractal, film burns, dramatic strobe, all of these are gonna go. Right click and move to trash, and then just simply empty the trash. But how do you delete really buried plugins that are not located in that motion templates folder. This gets a little more advanced. Uh, let's head back over to the finder. And this time we're gonna go to Macintosh HD. Let's select library. And you're gonna look for the plugins folder. And here's where a lot of other plugins would be stored. These are all plugins I still want, so I'm not gonna touch this folder. But what about, let me show you something. If you have these core melt plugins these ones here that say c2 where do these live these ones are so buried in your system i'm going to show you how to locate them and delete them if you so choose these don't work anymore so i definitely want to get rid of them i've just been waiting for the right moment and here it is so again we're going to go over to the finder macintosh hd we're going to go to library again this time we're going to go to application support and let's go to Final Cut Pro. Let's hit templates. And here again, you have more folders, effects, generators, titles, transitions. Let's go to transitions. And here are all those C2 transitions. And you can just select them all, right click, move to trash. But here, it's gonna ask you for your password. And now they're still here in my bin. I'm gonna empty my trash. And again, you can see after I've emptied my trash, they're still here in the bin. And if I quit Final Cut and reopen it, they are all gone. No more C2 transitions. Now, if there's a plugin you really can't locate and you really want to delete it, what I would do is open up your Final Cut and let's say I wanted to delete this whole grouping of these installed effects. I would just select one of the effects in that whole folder. So in this case, let's look for track 3D pin. Head on over to the finder window. Use the search feature to search that exact phrase. And here is track 3D pin, but we want to locate all of those installed effects, not just this one. So what I would recommend doing is right clicking on it and saying show in closing folder. And then here are all of those effects from that folder. Change the view to columns here so you can learn exactly how to navigate to it in the future. 
and then you can delete that entire folder. So there you go, that is how it's done. A word to the wise, just make sure you're not deleting any plugins for any projects that you're actively working on or archived projects that you think you might need to reopen in the future. Definitely err on the side of caution, but deleting plugins is a normal part of editing and media management. You know, you may have purchased a plugin for a motion tracking feature a while ago, but then new technology and better motion trackers have come out. So you've purchased new ones. It is okay to delete the old ones. To me, I like my interface to be clean. I don't like to have too much stuff that I'm not using in all of my bins. So it's really just about like, you know, housekeeping and like spring cleaning and something you should think about doing periodically. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you feel like you learned something, let me know by giving me that big thumbs up, hit that subscribe button if you haven't already and leave Leave a comment about what else you want to know that I might be able to answer from you. I love hearing from you guys. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you again.